So hello and welcome back to the computer lab. So in this short video, I'm going to be unboxing the Ubiquita Unify 16 port POE switch. It's 150 watts. And my uh, original plan for this was to uh, unbox the switch first and then show it going into the installation where I'm putting this particular switch. However, the video was looking like it was going to be a bit too long and a bit too much going on, uh, showing all the unboxing uh, and the different things there. So I'm just going to do a short video, probably five or six minutes long, unbox the uh, switch show you what you get for your money in the box and then also just briefly touch on some of the functionality uh, so if that's what you're interested in and that's what you want to see please do carry on watching Okay, so let's get this Ubiquita Unify model US-16-150 watt unbox. It comes in a sleeved box. Uh, we'll flip it over first and just have a quick look at the features. So the usual uh, sales spiel on the back here. I've got the features and the package contents. I'm not going to go into much detail, but we'll zoom in and just run through what you get. So the features of this particular switch, uh, 16 gigabit. This is a 16 port. You can get the 24 as well. This is the 16 one, all gigabit. Uh, RJ45 ports, auto sensing, uh, IEEE 802.3 AF slash AT PoE, power over Ethernet. Um, and it's got configurable 24 passive PoE as well. It's got the two 1G SFP ports, so your fiber ports, 18 gigabytes per second, a total non blocking throughput, RJ45 serial console port on the back, which is all managed with the Unify controller. On my network, I already have a Unify um, access point. I am going to be adding another one in. Uh, and the key thing for this switch and the access point is that they uh, both support the 802.3AF slash ATPOE. Uh, so it's basically auto sensing uh, for the access point. So it's sort of a plug and play, uh, whereas it used to be sort of 24 volt and you have to be careful on a different access points. Anyway, so that's the good news. Uh, let's get into the box and carry on with the unboxing and see what you get. Uh, so there was a, a free pin power supply lead that was uh, supplied separately um, that was in a, loose in the bag. I'm presuming because they do these in the UK and the US, they supply different leads. Uh, and there's a gap on the right there in the foam, which I'm presuming normally if you was buying in the US, you might get that lead included. Uh, but I did get the uh, UK plug. It was just on a separate sort of kettle lead free pin uh, plug. Uh, these are the two tabs that... Um, for rack mounting uh, the switch, which I will be doing. Um, so these screw onto the sides, um, some call them um, ears, uh, the server ears or mounts, uh, they're just a small L bracket really, uh, and they screw on the side. So the switch itself, the only thing that I'm not really keen about, uh, if it was on the Netgear one, all the ports would be sort of central. So when you're uh, putting them through on a patch panel, they would be in a better position, and these are all on the right. Uh, on the right hand side here, you've got obviously the 16 ports and then you've got your SFP uh, two fiber ports there uh, yeah so a neat little unit not a lot really um, to say about the design that they're all pretty much the standard these switches um, but yeah so what else do you get in the box you get the two ears and two L brackets for um, rack mounting at the switch you get the let me just zoom in there you get the uh, screws for attaching at the L brackets to the side of the switch so you get eight screws uh, like I say if you was putting this um, not in a rack and, and mounting it on the uh, just resting it on a shelf then you wouldn't need to put them on and that's why they usually leave them off that's pretty standard uh, they also supplies the ca cage nuts uh, so that's um, I mean most of the well-known uh, switch manufacturers supply cage nuts and screws uh, but it's good that they're in there uh, and they're the screws that go through your ears when you're uh, rack mounting it uh, these look like the rubber feet so these you can stick these on the bottom of the Unify uh, switch. Um, they'll, so you can basically just sit it on a shelf. So four little rubber feet. Uh, and you also get the quick start guide. So let's just quickly just zoom in here. I'll just run through the visuals and get it to zoom in. There we go. Uh, I'll just quickly run through the visuals on the front. So you have two light indicators um, on the Unify Ubiquita switch. Um, and this is a nice little thing that you can see in their software it's really good as well but 
this is a, a nice little visual item for if you're looking directly at the switch when it's mounted in your cabinet then uh, this would be good so you have um on the left hand side if i just point to here so that one there uh, on the left hand top indicator if it's amber is the poe plus um which is the 802.3af.at poe instead of just the 24 volt and if that left hand indicator is green then it's basically 24 volt which is sort of the older standard uh, for uh, power over ethernet uh, so that's a nice little thing uh, and then if i just go to the right hand side there's a small picture on the right as well which shows us that the right hand led on your rj45 connector is the actual link speed so this is um this is a standard really um, on most switches but some of them have a separate led panel um, in the middle of the switch uh, so you can look at it visually this is actually on each individual port so as you plug it in you can actually see which one instead of looking across and trying to line them up so this is again if it's amber it's 10 uh, slash 100 megabytes per second or if it uh, is right hand side is green then you go to a thousand megabytes per second and then just to the right of that you have the sfp uh, one and two the small form factor pluggable uh, plugs uh, with the green indicators uh, in between to show when they are connected okay so that is it i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do hit the like also hit me up with any comments below and please do subscribe to my channel if you're interested in this switch i will be doing it in uh, my next video installing it and provision it uh, provisioning it on my unify network mm -hmm.